What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the add minutes expression or function in the date and time functions. So add minutes allows you to add minutes onto a timestamp that you're passing in, and then get out whatever timestamp that is at the end and format it in a way. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here, I've got my manual trigger flow and I've got my compose action here. Click into the inputs and then click on expression. I can scroll down to date and time functions. And then as we can see, we've got a add minutes function here. So the add minutes, uh, it says adds a number of, adds an integer number of minutes to a string timestamp passed in. And what we are seeing in the parameters is that it's asking for a timestamp, the number of minutes you want to add to it, and the format. Uh, the format has a question mark, which means that it is an optional parameter and not something you actually have to pass in. So if we click add minutes, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pass in UTC now as a function to get a timestamp. Um, this actually works without using the UTC now, so you could pass in another timestamp from somewhere else. So uh, maybe a record um, creation date for a record that you've created in you know, CDS or SharePoint. You can pass that in there instead. But I'm going to use UTC now for ease. And then we have the number of minutes to add on. So I'm going to add on uh, 45. Uh, minutes. So again, I'm not putting this inside single quotation marks because I want Power Automate to uh, interpret this as a number and not a string. The format is a um, is an optional parameter, so we're not going to put that in just now. So now click OK. And it's going to go into the compose action there, and we can test this out. So we'll save and test. We'll run the flow. Click done and this is what we get. So at the time of recording, it is um, 6.55 in the evening. So we can see that adding on 45 minutes has actually taken us up to 7.40 or 19.40 in 24 hour speak. Um, and that's how that um, interprets. So what you'll notice here is this is in a, in a UTC format. So it goes year, month, day, and then T for time, and then hours, minutes, seconds, and then milliseconds, followed by Zulu at the end, which closes off the timestamp. But this is not always the best format. Now, things like um, you know SQL or CDS, they'll understand this format if you want to pass it back in. But if you want to make something a bit more readable, maybe you want to send an email to someone with this date and time on, um, you will need to format that in some way. Now. Power Automate allows you to format it, and that's what that format um, optional parameter at the end was. So if we click back into the expression, and we click um, a comma, uh, and then we'll put some single quotation marks, put the letter G in there. So what this is, is that the format is dictated to by the ISO standards. So you can, um, there is an ISO standard called uh, 8601, or numbered 8601, which determines the date and time formatting which means that when you try to format a date, as long as you use this format, it will output in a certain way. So if you choose like, you know, year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day, uh, or DD, um, it will output it in that format. Um, or if you want to change it around or do it in a different way, um, it'll do that. So it's an international standard that you can look up and you can reference. Um, G is a command in that, um, in that international standard, which outputs things in a certain way. Um, and, and there's various other formats. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below um, to that international format so you can check it out and you can play around with it. Um, I've done a bunch of them. Um, I haven't done all of them, um, so I think it mostly works. It's what the um, the Power, App, Power Automate and the Logic Apps uh, documentation says on uh, docs.microsoft.com uh, to use this format. So um, I think most of them, if not all of them, are supported. So we've added that in there and we'll click update and then we'll hover over just to make sure it's updated. It has, and then we'll click test. We'll click, I'll perform the trigger action and then uh, we'll wait a minute for it to catch up. And uh, then this will run, right, there we go. We'll click run the flow, click done, flow run successfully. And we can now see that this has changed. So. Um, this is now in an American style format, 
with the the month, the day, and the year, and then we've got a space, and then we've got um, a non twenty four hour clock time stamp uh, of seven forty two p.m. So that's one way to format this, but there are multiple other ways to format it, and it's all going to be determined by what it is you need and what it is you want to use for the format. So what do you guys think? Is Add 2 Minutes a useful tool for you? Um, let me know in the comments down below what you use it for, what you may use it for in the future. Uh, please like and please share this video if you found it useful. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on the last slide of this video deck, uh, we have uh, all my contact details for um, Twitter, my blog, uh, you know, my email, everything. If you want to get in contact, please do. Um, I love to talk to people and I'll see you next time.